Hi everybody, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. So earlier today, I was watching a video from a fellow YouTuber who also, you know, helps and supports many of you uh, with your print on demand business. And I'm talking about Juna at Detour Shirts. And here I want to give out a shout out to him. And I want to thank him for all of the wonderful work that he's doing with his YouTube channel. And uh, basically, he had a video up today, and I'll put a link to it um, just uh, off to the side here, basically showing how to create a text effect for t-shirts using Infinity Designer. Now, I know not everybody has Infinity Designer, and to be truthful, I tend to use Photoshop myself. But I started to wonder, I wonder if we could adapt what he was showing in his video and try to emulate that into the free version of Canva so that many of you who perhaps don't have Affinity Designer could actually try to utilize Canva and come up with your own effective creative designs similar to what Juno was showing in his video today. And I thought this would be a great exercise to do for today's video. So I think if you're excited about it, stay tuned. So before we start with today's episode, the fact that you're here means you're interested in all things pertaining to print on demand. And for that, I want to thank you wholeheartedly for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your patronage and your support. I'm really glad to have you. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and the scope of this channel is to help you take your print-on-demand business to the next level. So with that said, let's head over to my computer and start with today's tutorial. So welcome back to my computer screen, and as you can see, I have a zoomed-in version of Juna at Detour Shirts um, thumbnail on his YouTube page. And as you can see, it's text effects for t-shirt designs using Affinity Designer. And basically, as you can see from the top over here, the text design that he's referring to is sort of, you know, um, a solid text design with a, an outline text design superimposed on it using Affinity Designer. And he goes through it step by step how to use Affinity Designer in order to create this particular effect, which is extremely interesting. Sadly, I don't use Affinity Designer, I use Photoshop, but as I stated in the intro, I know a lot of you use the free version of Canva, and again, I thought to myself, let's see if we can try to come up with something similar, not an exact duplicate of this particular design, but something similar using Canva, and in showing you how I went about creating this particular design style in Canva, it might provide you with some inspiration and motivation to go on and give it a try and maybe tweak and come up with your own particular style and way of doing it so that obviously you can generate more sales on your print-on-demand shop, be it Redbubble, TeePublic, Sazzle, Society6, Spreadshirt, what have you. Okay, so let's go over to Canva. All right, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new design of 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. Okay, we'll wait for that to come up. All right, now there are a few steps that you need to do with this, and it's not really that difficult. And once you get into the habit of going through these steps, it'll become second nature. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create text. So we're going to choose add a heading, and we're going to use the same text that Juno used in his episode. So we're going to type in, we'll make sure the caps lock is activated, and then we'll type best dad ever. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight dad and I'm going to increase the size of it just a little bit, just to make it a little bit larger as he did in his own video. We'll take it up to about 440 and then what we'll do is we're going to reduce the line spacing basically down to the minimum that Canva will allow, which is 0 0.5. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to resize this and we're going to fill in the entire page with our design. So let's just grab like that and we'll fill it up, filling the whole page as best we can. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're centered. And we now know that we're centered because we get that purple line that appears in the middle. Okay, so now once we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and create an outline version of that. To do that, we're going to just hit this duplicate icon at the top here. And now we've got it duplicated and we're going to go to effects and we're going to go down a hollow and we're going to decrease the thickness down to about 25. I found 25 works really well. You can obviously play around with the numbers and choose according to what you like best. Now, to make sure that we have the outline version, we're just going to click on it and we're just going to move it. As you can see, it we've got the outline version. 
That's not a problem. So we're just going to leave it off centered over here. Don't take it totally off the screen because Canva will delete it for you. So leave it just a little bit over there. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to add a page. And in this page, this is a very important step. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to create this effect. So we're going to go into elements and we're going to choose the square feature and we're going to change the color to white. Now, I want you to take the square right to the top left hand corner and I want you to open it to fill the entire page. Okay, I literally want you to fill the entire page. And once you've done that, I just want you to download this page, page two. So we're going to go on to download and then we're going to choose and we're going to select and make sure that we have page two toggled. And then we're going to click done and then download. Now, once you've downloaded it, you're going to open it and upload it into Canva in your uploads page, which I've already done. And as you can see here, it's right over here. Okay. Now, this is a very important step that you must not skip because if you do skip it, you're not going to manage. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the first page. And what we want to do is we want to choose a frame that we're going to superimpose and lay in between the solid and the outline text that we've used. So we're going to go on to elements and then we're just going to scroll down until we find frames. I think I skipped it. Um, let me move myself out of the way. There it is. Frames. We're going to click see all and bring back over here. Let me move myself over here. Okay. Now what we can do is we can choose this triangle over here. Okay. And I'm just going to click once on it. And I'm going to open up the triangle, making sure that it's centered, and I want it to fill the entire page. Okay. Basically, I want it to cover the bulk of the text. Not all of it, but I want to make sure that the top part supersedes the top line of the phrase, and obviously the bottom supersedes the bottom of the phrase. Now, I want to make sure I'm centered. So there we go. Now it's centered. Now, here's the trick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the full white PNG into the triangle. So we're going to go on to uploads and make sure that my triangle is toggled. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the white and drag it into the triangle until Canva gets it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just have to be a little bit patient. Okay, so you're going to move it over, and then as you see, the triangle has highlighted with a thick blue outline. That means that the white background that I saved is now within the triangle parameters. So I'm going to let go. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is just click on the outline, and I'm going to hover it over the solid line until it's perfectly aligned, and voila, we have an effect similar to the style that Juna showed in his uh, video so that we can get this sort of like solid text and outline text superimposed. And you can effectively use it with any of the frames that Canva has to offer. So if we had to just duplicate this, let's just try one. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this page. Okay. And we're just going to drag the outline version out of the way. We're going to get rid of the triangle by toggling it and hitting delete key once and then twice. And let's go back to frames. So we're going to go into elements. And we're still in the frames directory. And let's say we wanted to choose sort of like this paintbrush effect. Okay, so we're going to click on it. It's going to place it onto our design. And all we're going to do is we're going to just basically resize it. And if you want to turn it around, you can do so accordingly. You can do it whatever which way that you like. Let's say we want to leave it like that. We're going to move it across. All right, now we're going to go back to our uploads. We're going to grab the white background and we're going to click and we're going to bring it onto our shape. As you can see, the frame is highlighted in blue. We're going to let go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our outline version back. We're going to put it into place. And as you can see here now, we've got another text design that we can use to put on a t-shirt. Okay. Then obviously all you want to do is download them as a PNG. Now the free version will only allow you to download it with a transparent background. You don't need to worry about that because there's a website which you can actually upload the downloaded version of this and erase the white background, save it as a PNG, and then you'll be able to put it up on any t-shirt design or any design in any print on demand platform that you would like. I'm going to leave a link to that video showing how to do it in the description box below. So I want to encourage you to get onto Canva, get creating, create your own quirky, sarcastic, funny sayings, quotes, what have you, and put this particular design style to the test and have fun with it and get creative. 
So there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to say thank you again to Juna at Detour Shorts for giving me this inspiration based on his video to create my own video, my own take on this particular style of t-shirt designing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. He doesn't know that I'm doing this. This is all totally voluntarily. As you know, as many of you know, I'm a type of person that really likes to help out where I can and support everybody and anybody who is trying to help you in the print-on-demand industry to reach more success. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.